Good morning, guys. I hope you guys can hear me over the, the heater it's on right now. I did not start the vlog right when I woke up because I was so, so tired and my throat was feeling a little eh. So I'm starting it now. We are up to the usual, I'm going to take Keegan to his sitters and then I am off to work. Like I said, this is my life Monday through Friday. <laughs> There's not much exciting going on. Um, that's why I've kind of contemplated about vlogging in the first, first place because I do the same thing every day. And I'm not really sure if people like to watch that. Um, I know that, you know, a lot of these vloggers, they, that's their full-time job now. And so they kind of get to create their own schedule and do whatever they want to make their vlogs more appealing. And I don't have that life right now. <laughs> so... This is what I do, and if you guys like them, then I'll just keep doing them. Um, I like vlogging my day or, you know, having moments of Keegan in there. And as we get closer to summer, I know that we'll be doing things on weekends as long as I don't have to work. And that'll be cool because you guys will get to see what we like to do. But, yeah, that's that little chat for now. Keegan's in the back watching his little show. You know, we just have a routine now every morning, as close as to a routine as we can get, you know. Sometimes little sometimes little things come up, but for the most part, I have my little routine with him and I know what to do to get him to just sit out and chill and he has his milk and he loves watching his show, so that's what I let him do. got here guys he's just chilling back here you want to grab your milk you want to hold, hold the camera oh <laughs> say bye all right just i always do that go to open my open the door and it's locked uh just Dropped him off in there. Why am I a mess right now? Everything's getting caught and everything. Oh, it's never easy dropping him off. I mean, sometimes it's easy, but like emotionally, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. So this time I went in there, took him to where all the kids were, but they're playing, you know, there's this little girl, Riley, he hasn't met yet. So I'm sure he's going to love playing with her. And then I was like, all right, mama's got to go. I love you. And I gave him a kiss and then I handed him over and of course started crying, but he'll be fine. I just, I need to get in the habit of, you know, going in there, making sure he's settled and then leaving, you know, as soon as possible, not like linger, which I don't feel like I have been doing, but I just need to make sure that I don't start doing it. So... Sorry, I'm like out of breath. What the heck? I walked from the dang door to the car. It's ridiculous. All right, so off to work we go. Working from the parents' house today. The nice thing about real estate is you can really work anywhere, even as an agent. Um, sorry, the car is beeping like that. That's so annoying. Um, you can work from anywhere as an agent and although I'm not an agent I'm an assistant luckily you know my dad is able to have in a, in a way two offices he has his like professional office where you know clients can come and meet if they want and then he has his home office which I'm able to work out of as well so that's really nice uh, that's why I say sometimes I'm at the office sometimes I'm at their house at my parents house so you know I know a lot of people they actually have to go to like a physical location you know to work which I mean I do too but it's just most of the time my parents house <laughs> 
which sometimes makes it not feel like work, but it is, you know, I get paid. So it's nice that I have some flexibility. I know a lot of parents, they don't have the kind of flexibility I have. Like if I really needed to, I could bring Keegan to work with me. But let me tell you, that is not easy, okay? It may sound like, dang, you're lucky. Yeah, I'm lucky, but then it's like I end up taking care of him and not working. So it's a lot to do, you know, and especially on the busy days, whew, where I'm like doing a bunch of stuff on the computer, you know, and then he wants to be nursed and then he wants to play and I'm trying to, you know, call or call somebody or a client or get, I think I just spit, sorry, or um, make a file, you know, just little things. It's like, yeah. <sighs> it's nice to have them there if need be, but it's nice that we also have this sitter there's some flexibility there and then I just uh, what was I saying I was losing my train of thought anyway I think you guys got the gist of it <laughs> getting a breath of fresh air bringing Harley outside Harley. look at him it's so cute because when he wants to go out, he's all hmm. Hmm. Like, <laughs> It's so cute. Look at him. He's all excited. Oh, feels so good out here. Excuse me. Look at these clouds, though. Oh. One thing I don't like about Washington is the weather and I'll let everybody know that I don't care the fact that it's always so cloudy rainy like I don't know it's just not me but then sometimes I think what if I move somewhere where it's like warm most of the year will I be happy will I miss the cold will I miss the rain I don't know maybe I don't know. I think it's nice to have an even balance. You know, I wish it was warmer most of the year, but that's okay. It is what it is. Harley. Harley. This boy, he always goes over there and takes his sweet time. The day is almost over. Well, the work day is almost over. And then we get to go pick up Keegan. I say we like you guys are in the car with me. But I can't wait to see him. <sighs> he cried when I left, so I know he'll be happy to see me. Look at this. See, like, this is ridiculous. just put my hood on Harley come on come on come on, come on. <laughs> oh gosh so this coat you guys this coat my mom got on sale for like 40 bucks I bet you guys don't know how much it usually costs you ready for it Two hundred dollars. I'm wearing a two hundred dollar jacket. Like that is just crazy. Two hundred dollars right here, and it's like you would think that a two hundred dollar jacket would be like really thick and like super toasty. This jacket is not really thick, but it is super toasty. I love this jacket, and she also got it for me like in a. Like kind of like a tan color and it's really cute too obviously same jacket so it is warm but i couldn't believe it it's such a steal i love when you can find good steals like that it's pretty cool i should have got the turquoise one they got and i think these these are like saint 
John or something. I don't know. I'll leave it in the link down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about because she picked this up at JCPenney's. So, and I think it was, yeah, it was around Christmas time. So they were having like a sale and a lot of stuff was like marked down to the max. I felt like 40 bucks for a $200 jacket. It's craziness. He's so cute. All right, you guys. I will see you when I am leaving. Stop it. I am free. <laughs> I am running so late right now. I am like, I am the kind of person that does not like to be late to anything. A doctor's appointment, to work, to a freaking soccer game. I don't care what it is. I do not like to be late and the time had like completely gotten away from me. The time completely got away from me and it was like 4.40 and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to get on the treadmill. So got on the treadmill really quick, which wasn't until five o'clock and I'm supposed to be leaving at five o'clock and I was like, but I need to do this. Like I have to get these 20 minutes in. So I get on the treadmill and then I'm, I need to send an email, but I can't send the email until I get a paper back that's supposed to be signed and you know, that takes time and, oh geez. Now I'm, I'm late picking Keegan up and I feel bad because he's the last one to get picked up um, at the end of the day. And I don't, it's okay like if I'm like 10 minutes late, but it's like almost six o'clock and usually I leave at five. So I'm on my way to get Keegan. Sorry, it's so dark. The clouds are out. It's sprinkling, you know, all that fun stuff. So I am going to hurry up and go get Keegan. Hey guys so we've been home for maybe about a half hour and Keegan knocked out really quick so I don't want to do anything to disturb him here he is he is knocked out so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here not too much went on today we'll see what goes on tomorrow I will see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog